Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. And what do you yeah, do on the um, peace dollars? Uh, I've got or A's and Morgan? B's. Those Morgans. Okay. Those are twenty ones. I got peace dollars in the middle. Okay. So I got AU peace dollars and BUs. The AUs are. Let me think. AUs would be twenty and the BUs would be like twenty four. Okay. You say you got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Can I ask what it is? Yeah. So I buy gold and silver around the world. Um, it's international stacker. Oh, okay. you just type it in and check it out. You might have a, yeah. yeah, check me if out. If you don't mind. <laughs> check me out. And it's like totally anonymous. Like I obviously don't show my face and stuff. So whenever sure. I film, I don't show anyone's face or anything crazy. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? get you. Yeah. yeah, I just did a contest. I just gave away a kilo bar of silver that I bought in Dubai. Oh, cool. So I had like, something like 4,000 entries. It was crazy. <laughs> it cost me like... So you're like Anthony Bourdain of stacking. I was in, uh, I just put out a video, I was in um, Delaware a week ago, and I was in there talking, and some guy in there goes, are you international stacker? <laughs> he was totally okay. like a watcher, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. That doesn't usually happen, that was nuts. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool. What's the story on these two silver bars here? Oh, uh, customer poured them, they're nothing interesting. How much would you do on those? Uh, buck over. Can I check them out? Yeah. I like unique stuff, you know? They're ready to be stamped. Do we still have those ones with the ancient coin impressions? And... No, they're all gone. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Got rid of them, finally. <laughs> the big thing here is the home stake silver and gold. And that home stake 10 ounce bar has been bringing a thousand bucks. Home stake, huh? Yeah. Is that a local? Oh, while you're here, you gotta go up to the mine and check it out. Oh, it's the mine itself. Yeah. It's a neutrino lab now, but... Oh, I saw a story on that, yeah. Yeah, but Homestake was huge. That, absolutely huge. Huh. I might grab one of these mystery bars. I might grab this one. Let's put it to the side for now. Yeah. Cool. Big kick, that. Yeah, that's nice. I haven't seen that big too often. I don't, anyway. North Star Mint. I got some angle hearts. Okay. Can't go wrong with those. And I love how you have the poker chips. Try to cash any of them in? They're all good. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I maybe pick through some dimes? Is sure. that okay? Get a couple dollars face with that. Maybe I'll pick through some of the half dollars. You know, this is my first time to Rapid City, and I really like how you have, like, all the presidents on all the... Oh, yeah. That was really cool. I just visited the um, Fire Station Brewery, is it? Or... Is it firehouse. Firehouse. I drove here from uh, Pierre, and I saw all the signs for it and all the fire trucks. Just got these this morning. I took your word they were all 90%. The Enders, the Enders look 90. <laughs> yeah, a couple of them are... Uh, Kennedy's facing the other way, though. Gotcha. Maybe there's a good walker, too, in here. Yeah, I saw your commercial on TV today. I was like, wow, I'm going there. <laughs> I'd already looked you up online, but that just, like, sealed the deal. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen a, um commercial I think for we call them online LCS's local coin shops so it's the cheapest really... advertising there is for me and not uh, boy it works does it new people come in every day I saw your ad and I've been running them for 10 years so what do you like to stack the most you know it's whatever I can kind of get the best deal on I guess Just, yeah it changes like when I always base when someone asks what how should I buy my silver I always view it like, well, like four of my brothers that walked in and said, what should there? I buy? What would I tell them? Yeah. You know, and, and I tell them that. And, like, I'm a guy, um, most 19, can, those ones ounces per dollar is what I buy. You know? 
So sometimes it's 90, sometimes it's rounds. It just depends on the market. That's what I'm doing. And you know, my biggest mistake ever is like when I first started stacking, I like wanted Morgan so bad, but I like didn't want to pay the premium. So then I bought like a bunch of Cole Morgans and then like now I'm like, gosh dang it. Cause then like the other day I did a private buy. I got something like 200 Morgans for 16 bucks, bucks a pop. And a lot of them were pre 1900. And then I just look back at those Cole ones I bought years ago and I'm like, gosh dang it. Why didn't I? The thing yeah, I learned, amazingly stacking, you have to enough, be patient, you know? Yeah, amazingly yeah. enough, there's still a market for Cole Morgans. Right? There is, there is. But, you know, in this recent run-up, dollars really did not move an inch, except for Culls, because they had to move the silver run-up. Right. So, like, XF pre-21s, same as it was when it was in and out. Right. Did you have a lot of people coming in to sell on this recent run? Or not really? Not as many as I expected. That more gold sellers than a lot more gold sellers. Well, there was a lot of people selling, but none of them were selling the same price. Yeah, we yeah, yeah we definitely noted that. Yeah, even the gold, a lot of that was. So you know what was epic? So there was a company um, that did a gold sale, um, and I put out an alert to him. A bunch of my viewers did it, and at the time it was. Gold had gone up recently, and I was able to get gold American one tenth eagles for, at the time I think it was like one twenty nine a piece, which at the time was like forty bucks under spot if you bought an ounce. Nice. So I bought two ounces of them. I put it out. A bunch of people got them. But the reason the company did it is because then they like try to upsell you. I'm like, oh, we've yeah. got this great deal in this tournament, you know. Yeah, and I like instructed my viewers. I'm like, just say, oh, thank you. That sounds interesting. But I'm only interested. So I got those, and I got so I got the ounces for twelve sixty a pop. I think gold was like 1300 and then like a month after that it jumped up to 15 I'm just like, oh man, I killed it on that. Yeah, you can't get, you can't get much and those coins carry a premium, you know, whenever you're going to sell them. So. At the time when I bought them, I actually called my local coin shop. I'm like, hey, how much would you pay for that? And they're actually paying like $6 more than I was buying them for, $7. Nice. So I'm like, man. Nice, Good deal. What are you looking for in there in case I run across it in here? Just stuff in good shape. Okay, and there's a bunch of, you know, be you or darn close. Yeah. Of those in this pile. So what I usually do is I'll buy the older stuff. So if you got any walkers with like full dates, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay. Stuff like that. Or a really cool toning. Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. Big thing. I love toning. I've been buying a lot of the strategic stockpile stuff lately. You know that US assay rounds and bars they came out with? Mm hmm. I, I, those are pretty cool. Yeah, I've got a few of those knocking around somewhere. Is it okay if I mix them with these yep. or no? Okay. That's where they're going to end up. Very okay, cool. So I'll just help you out here. <laughs> 64. I like too when they're kind of like dirty like that, you know? I like that. And you know, my first full stack video I ever did, people were like, you need to get constitutional silver and 90% or junk, whatever people call it. And I'm like, ah, I was never really into it. But then I bought a little and I mean, it's like addicting. I think I've got like almost $3,000 face now, the stuff. How about uh, foreign silver? Any I'm super into that, especially if you have good deals on it. Yep. I yeah, do. I'm and, super uh, into that. What uh, do you got? Oh, uh, I got a lot of 80%. Let's, you know, che let's check it out. Alright. British stuff I like, because I do a lot yeah, of videos that. over there in England. And you know what's funny? I bought some silver in England, but they have a 20% VAT. So then I came here and I got silver from England cheaper than the United States than I did in England. Have you spent much time in Canada? No, I've not made a single video in Canada. The thing I'm wondering is if, you know how, you know, we trade 90% down here, you know, all the time. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's just like that up there with 80%. And, I can ask them. And I've if, got viewers, I'll ask them for if you. If there's a premium in the stores on it. All right, everyone. I'm going to quickly show you uh, what we got at that LCS. i got to run to the airport. Going back to Saudi Arabia now. I just got back into San Diego last night from South Dakota. So let me show you. This is all 0.75. 
um, silver. And this is really cool. I got a ton of Philippine silver and I got this all at melt. And actually he gave me a discount. I got these 10% under melt um, because it was gonna cost them that to send it to a refinery because evidently they're in South Dakota, foreign silver is not really popular. So it did him a favor, did me a favor, which was super cool. A ton of Filipino silver. And it was minted by the United States of America. If you look there. 20 centavos, Philippine. So we got big coins, small coins. So before he gave me the discount, um, that number's wrong. It was like 113. And then he took 10% off that. So it ended up being like 108. So super cool, a bunch of Philippines. Who knows? It looks kind of mega. <laughs> so I mean, that's like over 10 ounces for sure. A uh, bunch of 835 silver. Ooh, these are a bunch of Swiss francs. Again, he gave me, um, I think it was anything that was under 925. No. I think it was anything under like 883, eight, something like that he gave me an extra 10% on. So I think it was anything under 80% silver. So check these out. That's five francs, one franc. Super cool stuff. So a bunch of Swiss francs there. I mean, that feels like it's 10 ounces. Nah, four ounces maybe. I probably got a total of like 25 ounces, something like that. This is a bunch of, uh, is this the Australian stuff? Yeah, this is a bunch of Australian. If you guys remember in the other video, people were like, that one coin wasn't silver. The date was too late, but then we figured out from people leaving comments that it was an Australian sixpence, so it actually was silver. So this is all, I think, for the most part, Australian. So look, there's an Australian florin. Australian florin, super cool. So a bunch of florins, uh, shilling, sixpence. Super cool. So a bunch of Australian stuff. Is that mega? Then we got here a bunch of uh, 90%. Oh, so that's uh, the US coins there. And then these are gonna be some um, are these French? I think these might be French. I forget guys. Sorry, I'm rushing through this. And then um, this is a bunch of 925. So that looks like a bunch of different British and different things. And then a bunch of 50 percenters. This as well looks British. Half crown. Two shillings. So guys, I got this all at melt or some of it 10% under melt super cool check them out if you're ever there dakota golden coin and like i said he had a commercial on tv um i'll try to find a clip of the commercial and if so i'll put it in here the cool thing is too he gives everyone their orders in cigar boxes so there's a bunch of cool little cigar boxes so there you go let's fill this puppy up all right guys i gotta head to the airport thank you and catch you on the next one there's silver in there guys there's silver